A 1960s ecclesiastical wave of urban renewal inspired mission churches throughout the Americas to undergo renovations. And all too often, centuries-old artwork of the Madonna was lost. Fortunately, these works were saved and preserved by a family with an eye on historic preservation. Now, these works can now be seen in Painting the Divine at the New Mexico Museum, uh, New Mexico History Museum, that is. In this week's Culture Pass Challenge, we are giving you a first-hand look. The New Mexico History Museum invites you to explore the rich cultural history of Latin American devotion to the Madonna with Painting the Divine, Images of Mary in the New World. Kate, tell us a little bit about this exhibit, Painting the Divine, and uh, this is really about capturing images of, of Mary? Is that, of is that of right? the Virgin Mary, um, and this is, this is the work of Spanish colonists okay. in Mexico, South America, and New Mexico. Mm -hmm. In the 1960s, Charles and Nina Collier were cult cultural attaches mm -hmm. to Bolivia and it was a time of urban renewal and a lot of old adobe churches were being torn down in the name of building something that looked modern and new. Sure. But what was going with it was some of the artwork that was inside of these churches. Art historians and galleries didn't think it was valuable so they started buying it and they ended up amassing this collection that was based at Los Luceros, an estate north of Española, and then came to the New Mexico History Museum in 2005. This is the first time all these paintings have been seen together and what they show us is what an important role faith played for colonists who were traveling across the ocean and taking these incredible caravan journeys over land the, in, into harsh places where they had nothing, they were so far from home, what they had was faith and they practiced it in a way that is still beautiful today. Mm -hmm. That's great. And so you said, I mean, it sounds like these have been on a long journey and they were they dispersed? Is the entire Collier collection here? At the museum? Most of the collection is here. We have 70 paintings in all. 35 okay. of them are on display. Okay. Um, some of the, originally the paintings, the colonists took them with them from Spain. Mm -hmm. But when they landed in their new place, they're building new churches, they need new art. Gotcha. So they start teaching themselves mm -hmm. how to do this painting. By the time they get to New Mexico, it's too hard to get canvas up here. It's too hard to get oil paint up here. So mm -hmm. they start using what they have. Mm -hmm. And what they have becomes the art of the Santeros, which is cherished today. Every year, Spanish market out on the Santa Fe Plaza is, is capturing that same artwork. And you see the evolution not only of people in a strange and new land, but the evolution of their artwork as mm -hmm. well. Gotcha. So uh, what are some of the stars of, uh, if, if we say that there are celebrity paintings or some of the stars that are on display, what are some of the, the must-sees when we're here? I'm, I'm most impressed by 12 of the pieces that underwent conservation work. So started out um, dirty with, mm -hmm. with layers of, of wax and candle soot on them and some with tears and had that all cleaned off and, and repairs made in them and new images appeared, bright and beautiful. Our Lady of Pomata is a Peruvian interpretation of the Virgin, of, of, of the Virgin Mary and in it the, the artist has blended a traditional Inca princess with the Virgin Mary and as a teaching tool to a native persons you're bringing them something that they're already familiar with and introducing them to an icon of their, this new religion and making her familiar and comforting. What do these paintings tell us about their lives? One of the things that you see is the appearance of, in the backgrounds, you'll see the appearance of new flora and fauna, birds and animals and, and plants that would not have existed in Europe. Yes. And, and so in that way you see them adapting to their new, new places and, and learning how to incorporate that in their lives. Gotcha. So it really, even though these are, you know, testaments of the Virgin Mary and, and, and uh, pictures, it really does sort of show their new world mixed with their old world. It's like a travelogue. Gotcha. Yeah. Gotcha. Very cool. Painting the Divine continues through 2016. For more information on the exhibition and the Culture Pass, head over to casa.com.